Okay, this is the third time I've done this. And I, oh, I just said three, I know. Uh, I'm just going to say all this stuff. It's going to be really long-winded, but I just wanted to talk about this because this thing was pretty interesting, all right? this It's this found footage, TV version, dra uh, dramatized movie based on the Book of Revelation, okay? Um, and it's all, it's you know, it's all scripted. It's like a TV Hollywood movie. And... Before we go any further on it, I just wanted to show you that they've got their hands in it. This was, they're just running around in a basement somewhere, and they flashed their flashlight on the wall. And it was real quick, but they put this right in your face. So, you know, they got their hands in it. It's manipulated. Just just letting you know that ahead of time. But uh, what's interesting in, in this is, as they're doing scenes of, you know, reenactments of the events of the Bible, um, they're flashing, you know, real scriptures up there, and they're also flashing... Um, fake news reports, you know, that are, that are made out to be, they're supposed to be real, but, you know, they're fake news reports, you know, like your CNN, your MSNBC, that kind of stuff. And also, at the same time, they're showing real footage of real things, like the weird noises that everybody's here, but no one can explain. It's the weird, like, UFO clouds and halo clouds in the sky, and uh, real footage from the storms and all this kind of stuff. It's very interesting. So I just wanted to kind of go over this with you real quick and it, because it also made me uh, really kind of start to believe a theory that I've had about this missing plane now that has been found, but regardless about the, the missing planes that, that have happened this year. I'm trying to keep this short. I'm sorry, but I'm probably going to end up sounding like I'm rambling, but just bear with me because I've got a lot to say about all this, this stuff because it's, it's very interesting. So this, this movie, second part, finishes tonight. Um, this first part... Talks about, you know, a nasty, like a superstorm Sandy pounding the East Coast, sub-zero temperatures from Maine to Illinois, uh, millions of people displaced. Uh, they mention a whole bunch of states. And this was, this movie starts out, if I'm not mistaken, March 16th, 2016 is when all this stuff starts happening. Um, then they talk about, and this isn't all in order, just notes. Then they talk about another superbug, a, a pandemic, an epidemic, a disease. And I remember Texas and Nevada being mentioned. And they call it the 7HC. And one of the things they flash, um, the biblical scriptures, they talk about a seven-headed beast rising. Well, they associated that with this disease. Just telling you what they're saying. Uh, then there's an attack and a terrorist attack on the Wailing Wall in Jerusalem, which plunges the Middle East into a war. Um, countries invade Israel from the north, and there, uh, it's uh, Iran, Russia, Turkey, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, and Ethiopia are mentioned. They cover a bunch of a uh, series of earthquakes. Uh, I remember China and Indonesia being mentioned, and this is what has got me. This was funny because I came up with this theory before I saw this, so this is really making me wonder if if I could be maybe if it's if it's on the right track. They do kind of report like a rapture, right? But people don't all just disappear at once. They kind of disappear periodically. But these children disappear. And it turns out that they've had some, they got some disease where if they get exposed to light, they get, they get sick, they get hurt, like burns them or what have you, like, kind of like vampirism, if you will. And so all these children start disappearing. And so why I thought this was interesting is, is right after that third airplane got reported missing, which we know is all crap. I mean, the numbers in that story are ridiculous. But regardless, I'm just saying. It almost make is almost making me wonder because, like I'm telling you, all this stuff is happening in this movie. It's just dramatizations, reenactments, but there are like fake news reports that are, are throughout the whole thing. That's how the, a lot of the story is told is through the news reporting. And the whole time, all this stuff is going on. The news is reporting on it, saying, "Yeah, stuff is getting crazy out there," but they keep, you know, basically, you know, keep calm, carry on. It's all normal. It's all conditioning, right? Like they've conditioned the public to martial law. Think of how they've conditioned everybody to all these fireballs. I mean, are you kidding me? It's insane. Hold on one second, by the way. One second. Hold on. Okay, now it was just reported that they just had a huge fireball over the East Coast again last night. Okay, another record-breaking year. All right. And, and this report, this, this big fireball was reported on the mainstream media, and it was reported by the AMS. So we're on the American Media Society own their own website, okay? This is their fireball lock. Look how many we've had this year. 3,585, up from last year. Maybe not a dramatic increase, but still an increase in uptick nonetheless. Yeah? 
Now, what's interesting is that the media reports like this is, you know, oh, yeah, that's crazy. It's normal. Now, let's go back to 2008 just for fun, five years, well, six years ago now. 731 in 2008, 2014, three and a half thousand. Okay, this is not normal. Something is happening. And my point in all this, and I'm saying this about the missing airplane, is because it's starting to make me wonder if they're just using this, if this is a way to condition people to get used to people in their lives, their family and their friends, to just start disappearing and to just keep calm and carry on because, yeah, it's weird, but just keep on going about your business. Because whether or not you believe in the rapture or whatever, that's not the point here because this is just history. That stuff's going to happen. That's why the National De Defense Authorization Act was created. It's for people like you and me who are standing for the truth and we're speaking out about it. They're, if they don't like what we're saying, they don't like what we're saying at work, posting on the Internet, they now have a quote-unquote legal right to call us terrorists to come and get us and make us disappear. So it almost makes you wonder if all these disappearing flights are to get can people to condition to just get normal and used to it being normal of people just disappearing in their lives. I don't know. I'm just saying. And just it's just making me wonder, especially now after watching this movie. Um, the president and vice president die from a pandemic, the same pandemic, I, I, th I think. The elections get canceled, because remember, this takes place in 2016. And then uh, these emergency powers are enacted. NASA does end up issuing a worldwide asteroid impact warning, say it's going to hit the ocean, but then they start saying it's aimed toward the United States, but then the first part, and that's when the movie ends, basically. And there are also devastating meteor showers. And um, like uh, the unexplained noises, they use actual footage from those. If I remember correctly anyway, I'm pretty sure they are. But regardless, we know those, those things exist. They're a real phenomenon. They say are the trumpets, and, they, and that's what you hear before each, you know, seal each, you know, right? The whole book of Revelation is a bunch of different disasters, and they show those before each thing happens, each event happens. So very interesting stuff. I just wanted to pass this along. And Kevin Blanche put out a really great video yesterday about a pretty good reason of, of why that missing airplane could have gone missing and been shot down or crashed or whatever because it's got something to do with the nuclear cartel and a big nuclear payoff buyout and it's, it's you know the the their shenanigans so I'll put it below I just like promoting this guy because regardless of how you feel about him the dude's got an amazing fighting spirit and passion and that's very comforting for someone like myself to see so just want to pass that along so thanks everybody for listening and it's going to be an interesting second part to this movie I think Thank you for watching, subs. See ya.